Well, it's time for another video book review. I wanted to uh, take a moment to review a book that I've been anticipating for some time that uh, I picked up a copy of at AGU uh, this past fall. Uh, this is The Roadside Geology of Maryland, Delaware, and Washington, D.C. It's by a guy named John Means, who uh, recently retired from uh, teaching geology at Hagerstown Community College in Maryland. Um, it's published by Mountain Press, uh, like all the roadside geology uh, series and the, the new geology, or relatively new geology underfoot series. Um, it's uh, a valuable resource for somebody like me to have, somebody who lives in the Washington, D.C. area, um, in terms of, uh, you know, the author's done a lot of exploration around the area and, and offers uh, a lot of reviews of the different um, rocks in the area. One thing that's really nice about it is it's got full color maps. So uh, if I show you that map there, you can see they're pretty uh, gorgeous looking maps. Um, each of them has a, a legend uh, or rather uh, an explanation associated with it. Um, it's also got full color photographs, which is nice. Um, let's see, here's another example of uh, another nice full color map. I marked another one here, where'd it go? Oh yeah, there's a nice one there. So some of them are oriented horizontally, some are oriented vertically. Um, most of the photographs are in color too. There are a few that are in black and white, like this one of uh, a pothole, um, but uh, most of them are in color. The ones that are in color, they're okay, but one thing that kind of bugged me is, is they're very rarely provided with a nice sense of scale, um, and oftentimes they have vegetation on them, like this picture here. Um, so that, I think, is a bit of a bummer. Here's another one that could really benefit from a sense of scale can't really tell um, what you're looking at there without that. Um, that's an improvement over um, the old uh, style of uh, roadside geology books. Like here's the Roadside Geology of Virginia by Keith Fry. And you can see they're all in black and white, except for some of the geologic maps are uh, in orange with various styles of countershading. Let me find a nice example for you. Here's a beautiful example of that. That is a really hard geologic map to read. That That is just abysmal in terms of uh, making information readily accessible to the reader. So um, the, the, uh, the new format in roadside geology is really uh, a huge step up in terms of accessibility to the reader. A few things uh, that I'll mention that are specifics about the book if you're interested. Um, one is that he uses the, is the term Taconic orogeny rather than Taconian orogeny. Um, there is historical precedent for that, but I feel like that's a misleading term because the Taconic Mountains are a modern day mountain range that exists in modern day New York. Um, the Taconian Mountains were a much more extensive mountain range that existed in the Ordovician up and down the East Coast. Um, he um, basically touches on a couple of environmental issues without going into detail. So he talks about global warming a little bit and about acid mine drainage a little bit um, in sort of broad sort of uh, hand-waving terms, but without getting into any of the specifics, which I found dissatisfying since those specifics are important to understanding those issues. Um, in terms of one of my favorite areas that's covered in the book, the Billy Goat Trail along Mather Gorge, um, he gets sort of the broad story there, but he doesn't uh, mention some of the neatest rocks there, like the amphibolites and the migmatites, um, or even this issue of the offset Lamperfear dikes at the, the upstream end of Mather Gorge and the possibility of a fault controlling Mather Gorge. I think those are interesting stories to tell, but perhaps they're just too specific for a book that's as broad as this. Um, there are... Uh, there was another issue that, a uh, brief little thing, where he talks about the Anacostia River and he talks about it being carved by glacial meltwater discharge, um, so in quotes there. And uh, to my knowledge, there's no evidence at all of any uh, glaciers anywhere within the Anacostia watershed or even within the Potomac watershed. So um, I think that's uh, a small error. Um, Another uh, choice of words that I would have changed is he uses the, the verb solidify to describe the emplacement of quartz veins, which to me implies that they were magma uh, if you're solidifying from a liquid to a solid. Um, but really, I, I think a better term there would be precipitate. Um, let's see. 
I guess the only other thing I would mention were there were a few nice uh, instances of humor. He notes, for instance, that the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers did its work during Holocene time. Um, and lastly, um, just sort of, you know, in terms of a general comment, while it's very uh, comprehensive, it's also very repetitive. It's a very hard book to read from cover to cover um, because of the, the format of these roadside geology books, basically. It, you know, they have to tell the same story over and over again as you're driving along Interstate 66 or along Route 7 or Route 15. You know, you, you end up having all these different uh, roads that you're, you're going over and, uh, you know, the description basically has to be a standalone description for each of those roads. So it's a bit repetitive. Um, I found it, you know, a, a quality enough book, but, you know, kind of lacking the excitement, lacking the narrative that, that I would hope for. Um, especially, you know, given that we're in this region with pretty amazing geology. Um, it's not obvious when you, you know, step off a plane and look around. Basically, you see a lot of green and a lot of dirt and a lot of development. But the, the story underneath that is, is pretty profound. So I would have uh, liked to read something with a little bit more oomph and verve. Um, and this way, I think that the Geology Underfoot uh, series is actually a better series than the Roadside Geology. Uh, different format. It's more story-driven rather than road uh, and geography driven. So that's what I would have to say about the new release, Roadside Geology of Maryland, Delaware, and Washington, D.C. Check it out if you live in the area. Let me know what you think.